And welcome again to Cottage Talk. I am Russ Goldman. This is our Cottage Talk preview. Five keys to victory for Fulham against Luton Town at Craven Cottage on Saturday. I very much look forward to this match, and I'll be sharing my five keys to victory coming up. As always, please do subscribe on YouTube and Apple Podcasts. It does help other Fulham supporters find us. We'll also have either one or two post-match shows of this match. I look forward to bringing that with you and hopefully have some co-hosts to join me. Before I go through my keys to victory, I do want to mention that in today's presser, Marco talked about that Sasa Lukic is out for this match and that Tom Kearney is a doubt. So Fulham could be down one or potentially two central midfielders, which isn't ideal. But the good news, before we talk about this actual match, is like what I talked about in the last episode with Dan Crawford, the huge news of the contract extensions for Jao Polina and also for Harrison Reed. Two key central midfielders will be involved in this match. And honestly, heading into this match before those two signings, I was feeling a little bit more nervous about this upcoming match. I think it is a vital match for Fulham Football Club. But the fact that Jao Polina, based on what I watched, based on what I watched from Harrison Reed, I'm feeling good that these contracts not only are good for the supporters, but they're very good for the players, for the manager, for all around. I think it's going to give a good vibe heading into this match. So I think it actually changes the mood going into the match. I actually really like Fulham's chances in this match, partially because of the news from yesterday. I think that only helps Fulham Football Club. Nothing against Ludentown, but I think this might be the elixir that Fulham needed to kick on, and we'll see if they do. They should be confident heading into this match. I think with the new contracts, I think that can only help the morale of the side coming together. Now we can move on. The transfer window is closed. What happened yesterday was very good news. Regardless of what you see in Germany, they're going to be banging on, well, Bayern Munich are going to come in for Jao Polina. You're going to continue to see it. You're going to continue to see Fabrizio Romano continue to talk about this. That's fine. Let him talk. Right now, Jao Polina is a Fulham player, and I think it's going to be a lot more difficult for him to leave in January. I think summer very much could be in play, but January, I think it's going to be very difficult. And I think it's a benefit to Paulina for him personally, but I also think it's a benefit for the club. The fact that Reportedly, there is no release clause in his contract, I think is a good thing, as Dan Crawford said. So all things are looking more positive on the Fulham front in regards to Paulina. And I'll say it one more time. Regardless of the crying and the whining that's coming out of Germany about Paulina, sorry, you didn't get him. You might get him eventually, but he's not your player right now. He's a Fulham player. And I believe that this contract will actually just help him relax and play. And I expect a hundred percent out of him. That's what I saw in the video. I expect that's all you will see from Jao Polina. That's a big deal. So for Fulham heading into this match, we got the best news that we could get in regards to this match against Luton town that Polina signed a new contract. Very good news. Okay. So let's get to it. Let's get to my five keys to victory for Fulham against Luton Town. Before I do that, I just want to give a little shout out to Luton Town because, again, they really worked hard to get to the Premier League. I want to wish them the best of luck. I have nothing against Luton Town. I don't buy that they're going to get the lowest tally in the Premier League. I, I just don't. I think this is a club that is going to be extremely motivated. I think they have a a good manager, and I think they're going to be very well organized. They're going to make things difficult for Fulham in this match and for the rest of the season. They're not going to be an easy out. So I just want to say that. I think Fulham have a very good chance to win, but it's not going to be an easy match. And they also play 
in a formation that Fulham have struggled a little bit, three at the back. It could be, say, a 3-5-2, I think, could be difficult for Fulham, but I'm going to give you my keys on how I think that they can combat that and potentially win this match. So let's get to it. Let's get to number five. And this is an easy one because I think this is vital for the club, for the player, for the supporters, for everyone at Craven Cottage that Fulham need to get Polina involved early in the match. He needs to get on the ball. He needs to start tackling, being the tackling machine that he is, and just make a statement from the beginning of the match that he is Fulham's best player and he is going to be a difference maker, not just in this match, but for the rest of the season. Get Polina involved early and often in this match. That is my number five. Let's go to my number four. And I think this is an interesting one. The center back pairing will have to play mistake free in this match. And I truly believe that because we do know that their strikers can score goals. Calvin Morris, we know Adebayo, we know these strikers and they can take advantage of a mistake and they're going to get some opportunities. So whether it is Issa Diop and Tim Ream, Issa Diop and Calvin Bassey, whatever combination it is, they can't afford to have a mistake. Issa Diop cannot be making a mistake like he has in the past against Luton Town. You don't want to give a team that like this life that is looking for something to build on. They're coming to Craven Cottage for all three points. They're not coming for a point. They're coming to win. So for Fulham to win, they're going to need their center back pairing to play mistake free. I think that's very important in this match, whoever those two are. And listen, they're going to be dealing with some players, wing backs that could have some pace, some strikers mattering on selection that might have a little bit of pace. It could give Tim Ream some problems if he's playing. They cannot make mistakes against this team. They have to be dominant in this game and not give this team any life. So that's why the center back pairing playing mistake free, I think is very important in this match. Number three, and I think this is going to be important as well because I think for Fulham to take advantage of Lutentown, I think they're going to have to get the ball wide to the wingers and let them do what they can potentially do. Now, Fulham will have several options here. Could it be William, Adama Traore? Could it be Harry Wilson? Maybe he plays Bobby Decker Dover Reed. Regardless, I think Fulham have good wingers to give problems to this side because Fulham have pace and they need to be getting their wingers involved and their fullbacks involved. If they can play aggressively in this game and get the ball wide to their wingers, I think Fulham can have some joy against a team that's going to be very disciplined. Let's call it what it is. They're going to be looking for a mistake, but Fulham have to be aggressive and they need to get the ball wide. Number two, and this goes back to being aggressive. Fulham need to be aggressive when controlling the play. I expect Fulham to have the majority of possession. It could be as much as 60 to 70% possession. What's interesting about Fulham in the Premier League is that they flipped it from the championship where they've been more of the team that doesn't have the ball as much. Well, they're going to have the ball a great deal, and they're going to have to be aggressive. This cannot be a style of play that we saw under Scott Parker where we're just probing, we're being very extremely patient. They're going to have to take some risk, and they're going to have to be aggressive. That's the Marco Silva way of playing. You can't be sitting still. You're going to have to be aggressive, moving the ball around and finding those gaps. And if they can find those gaps, I think that they can find some joy and score some goals. But I think number two is very important in this match. They need to be aggressive. They cannot be passive against Luton Town because I think that's what Luton Town want. They want you to be passive. You have to be aggressive. You have to be smart. You cannot be conservative in this match. But there is going to be a time where you can be patient, but you can't be conservative. All right. Coming up next is my number one key for this match, and I'll also share my starting 11 prediction for this match. Okay. My number one key to victory for Foam Football Club is this. This is the match for Raul Jimenez to dominate. Now, 
He's going to be playing against three center backs, so you're thinking, how is he going to be able to do that? But Raul Jimenez is not Mitro. He is going to be a player that can move around. He's not strictly going to be a target man. He is going to be someone that can really do some do a job with his feet and also with his head. So believe it or not, even with the injuries that he's had in the past, I expect him to be extremely aggressive in this match. And if they can get him the ball, I think this could really snowball for him. He needs one goal. And I think if he gets it in this match, then he's going to kick on. I think he is vital for Fulham in this match. He needs to dominate. He needs to be aggressive. I expect that from Raul Jimenez. And I would back him to score a goal or maybe multiple goals against Luton Town. Okay. That's my number one key. Starting 11 in this match, this is what I think Marco is going to go with. I'm going to say he's obviously going to go with Bern Leno, Kenny Tete on the right, Anthony Robinson on the left. I'm going to say he's going to go Diop and Ream on the left. I'm going to say he's going to go Bobby Decker, Dover Reed on the right. I will go with Harry Wilson. I'm going to say Paulina, Reed, Pereira, and then we're going to go up front with Raul Jimenez. That's what I think he's going to go with, but there are other options. That's what I think Marco's starting 11 will be. My prediction for this match, and I'm just going to share this. I actually uh, shared my thoughts, my prediction with a podcast that covers Luton Town, and I went for two to one. And again, that was before the news that I got about Jao Pauline. And I think that changes everything. I think it changes the mood reform football club. They're going to be going into Craven Cottage, not nervous. I think they're going to be buzzing to play this game. So initially I was going with a two to one form victory. I've changed it. I'm going for a three to one form victory. I think Fulham are going to score multiple goals, and I am going to back Raul Jimenez to get a brace. I'm going to say Bobby Decadova Reed will score the other. I think Fulham win this match three to one. That is my prediction. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Cottage Talk. As always, please do subscribe on YouTube and Apple Podcasts. It does help other Fulham supporters find us. We will have either one or two post-match shows of this match. And I look forward to bringing that to you. I'm so glad Fulham are back. I'm back. And I look forward to watching Fulham play on Saturday. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. My name is Russ Goldman. Thank you as always for watching and listening to Cottage Talk, part of the Talk Sport Fan Network.